Hi guys, welcome back to Savap. Today I wanted to guide you step by step through the process of transforming multiple raw IFC files into a dynamic interactive dashboard within Savap and Power BI. Now the beauty of Savap is that as long as you have the same base point for each of the B models, it can handle the merging of the huge amount of data contained within several of your B models. And then you and your team are able to access the data by integrating them with Microsoft Power BI in a one simple to use interactive dashboard. Your dashboards can be customized with filters, slicers, and other interactive elements to allow you to explore your data dynamically. We have several tutorials to teach you how to do that. And I'll leave some links in the description for you to check them out. So whether you're a project manager, a data analyst or a BIM manager. This tool is your ticket to a comprehensive and a glance understanding of your project like never before. By the end of this session, the term data-driven decision-making will take on a whole new meaning for you. No longer will you have to sift through endless files and figures. Instead, you and your team will be able to navigate a seamless interactive dashboard tailored specifically to your project. So let's head over to Savap app and log in so that we can start to build our dashboard. Here in my projects folder, I've already set up new project and added several B models to it in the form of IFC files. Now I'm going to create a multi-model dashboard so that I can merge them in Power BI. For this, I click on create dashboard and then press start. Now click on select project and then select existing project. I then select my project and click on OK to add it into the dashboard wizard. Now I will click on Next. Now I can choose a dashboard template. The Beam IFC Viewer dashboard is provided by Savap as one of our standard templates for you to use. It's already set up with several visuals for you to filter your data with ease. Now on to Beam models. Here you can choose as many B models as you would like to add into your dashboard. It doesn't have to be all of the B models in your project if you only need two or three of them. And like I said earlier, it's important that they all have the same base point so that the 3D BIM viewer is able to display the information correctly. However, right now, I want to show you how Savap handles large amounts of IFC data like this. So I'm going to choose all seven of these B models. Now I simply click on get my dashboards and download it into my computer. Okay, so now I can open up my dashboard in Power BI. Click on open, then browse this device. Here I have to change the file to PBIT so that it will show the template file that I just downloaded. And then I can open it. Now I click on load and it will load it into Power BI. Now, once the dashboard opens up, you'll see that it already has the Savap Custom 3D BIM Viewer in the center with the BIM models loaded into it. There are also several visual filters set up for you to be able to filter the data. In the BIM Viewer, you can see several buttons. This button over here is telling us what assets are in the total of all of the IFC files. So if I now go to File and then click on drop down arrow, then I can select just one of the IFC files. And this number of assets will change to reflect the selection. Not only that, but all of the other visuals linked to this will also change. You can see that the pie chart showing the assets by story that we have here has also changed. Now let's take a look at the data of each of these models. Click on transform data at the top of over here and then once again choose transform data. This will bring up the Power Query editor and here you will be able to see all the data in the working tables at the side. So if we click on WT revisions, then you can see that each B model has a specific revision ID assigned to it. And all of the data such as the file name and the version number has also been included. Now, if I click on WT assets, you'll see that all of the asset data is also assigned a revision ID so that they are tied to each B model. This goes for all of the tables too, so that although the data has been extracted and merged into one dashboard, the B models are still technically distinct from one another. Now, the next step is publishing this report on Power BI service. 
and sharing it with your team. And that's how it's done. The way Savap is able to transform and merge IFC files into a dynamic and interactive Power BI dashboard is a game changer and it will help you to transform the way that you visualize interact with and understand your construction projects. I hope that this tutorial has quite literally empowered you to harness the full potential of Savap and Power BI. Head over to our website and sign up with Savap today. And please consider subscribing for more content like this and sharing it with your team to spread the knowledge and elevate the industry together. Until next time, bye.